subscribers. Today we will play a game called Roblox. What we're going to do today, you're all going to love it. Hello, everyone! Today we will have the task to escape from school as well as from this evil teacher. I think it will be very interesting to go through various tests for escape, so let's get started. All right, let's go. Our first task is likely to get out of this office and we will do it with desks and chairs that are in this class. Now we're going to put a desk like this and then we're going to put a chair on it and that way we can get out of this class through the vents. This is really fun, I love it. Now let's run up the stairs to the next trials. Oh my God, we hit some place in the ventilation room and we have to go through a small parkour to go further. I like it. We are climbing higher and higher and it becomes very interesting to see where we will soon get to. We climb the stairs and jump the hatches. Oh my God, you have to push the button to activate the air supply. Wow, how fun it is to jump in this air. I imagine I've learned to fly. All right, let's move on. I think we're almost out of this vent area and we're about to hit another one. Oh my God. Now we need to push the button and get up on the elevator. How interesting these tests are arranged. I did not even think that can do in schools. Rather, we go up. I think that we are very little left in this area and soon we will come to the school where the evil teacher will be. In the meantime, we're going through the pipes to get to the door. We hit some sort of utility room. And now our job is just to get out of here with some stuff. We'll take the ladder and climb into this vent to get to the next test. Yay! We have come to the school itself. Where can now meet us evil teacher? The doors don't open, so we need to find a door that can be opened and passed. I think we need to run after this man because most likely he knows where to go. Oh my God! So suddenly the teacher left the class. Looks like he caught us walking around after the call. Run away from him! We need to find the red key to the lock to proceed to the next test. He's here somewhere. And beyond that, we need to keep an eye on the teacher so he doesn't catch up. Hooray! There's the key we're looking for. Let's get it and open that door. The most important thing is not to get caught by the teacher. We still need to escape from here. We're almost there. Good thing we didn't fall into the teacher's hands. Now we will calmly pass on the next tests and very interesting. What will happen next? Oh my God, we got in the gym. There are such cool staircases. Very well equipped this gym, very cool. Next thing we know, we're gonna have to climb up some sports stuff and soon we're gonna be flying a zip line. Wow, next we jump on some cool trampoline. I really like it. I'm so glad we're doing this. It's very well done and our escape plan is the best I've ever seen. We're going higher and higher and now we're going to the pear test. It is necessary to hit the moment when you can run so that they simply do not push us to the bottom. It is very high. Hurrah, we're flying on a zip line. It's so fun to move on. I'd like to fly a lot more than here. Next, we have tests with trampolines. You need to jump from one part to another with their help. Here, we jump to the last part, and now we will climb the stairs. I think that now we will soon get to the next part of this school. Oh my God, you're gonna have to throw a basketball into the ring. I think that now we should definitely succeed. The main thing is to aim well. You need to aim at the square to be sure to get inside this ring. So we got through it, and now we're going to the door that opened. Oh my God, we have come to a place where again we notice this evil teacher. You have to run away from it, and I think the best solution is to run to the toilet because there may be ventilation. It is right behind us. We must quickly find a place where we can cope. Oh, here is the toilet about which Pinkie Pie said. And there really is ventilation. Let's hop in there and get away from that evil teacher. At last we have escaped from him and come to the next test. Oh my God, there is so much here. Looks like we need to hit the basketball right at that target to get this level. So cool here, All Made. I really like it. Run quickly up the stairs to find out what will happen next. Hurrah! Now we'll be flying through the vents. I think it'll be really cool. Woo! You have to fly over the lasers to get through this. The main thing is to be very maneuverable so that we can fly through all these lasers and not screw up the last one. We were able to get through all these lasers and now we're going through the vents to the next level. This can be counted for a little rest because there is almost nothing in the ventilation and you just need to go on it to get to the next test. 
Now we're on some kind of sharp test where we're required to drink some kind of energy drink that will give us a charge and we'll run fast. I really like this assignment. Let's do it. Wow! This is such a cool band. I like to run fast and pass every element of this lane because each of them is very amusing and works well maneuverability. The cool thing is that all the elements of this path are very diverse and they are very interesting to pass. There are trampolines and different pipes as well as manholes. I hope that soon we will overcome this challenge and move on to the next. Hurry up! I see that there is the evil teacher and we are likely to race with him now. After the usual fast races, we will organize races in fast cars. This is very exciting. I hope we can win it. There are also various obstacles. Very cool. Only the evil teacher very well got ahead. We have to get ahead of him because if we don't win, we can't get any further. There are a lot of accelerators here. And most importantly, we have a lot of chances that we can beat this evil teacher. The main thing is to look for corners to shorten paths and overtake the teacher. Wow! There are a lot of accelerators on this spot that we're driving now. The most important thing is that we almost overtook this evil teacher and almost passed this whole race with this opponent. I hope he will not overtake us. Now we will go to take off. It will be very fun because it is a huge slide on which we will come to the next test. Here we are already driving into some building and already there is a long awaited finish on which we will win this evil teacher. So we finish further. Hope to be left with a little more testing. Now there will be a small parkour in the courtyards, but I think it is not very difficult. You will have to go through everything. There are a lot of scary spikes downstairs and the most important thing is not to fall down. It will be necessary to quickly pass all this, and I think that very soon there will be a battle with the boss. There is very little left, and we will escape from here. Yay! So, finally, the battle with the boss and this evil teacher looks so scary in this suit. We have to do our best to win it, because all we have is a straw from which to shoot something. Now, we're going to try to shoot him completely so we can kill him quickly, because there's no other way. We almost beat this evil teacher because we are just a little bit until he dies. Hurrah! We managed to defeat him and he exploded. Now we can get out of here. Get out of here! I think we need to find some bus to get out of here. Here's a bus. We have to run on it to get out of here. So we were able to pass all the tests to escape from here. We are great. Subscribers, subscribe to our channel and like. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. We have a very interesting test ahead of us, and I think you will all enjoy it. Hello, everyone. Today, we will pass the test of running away from evil grandmother. I think it will be very difficult, but we have to cope with it. It should go well. Let's get on with these trials. We're choosing the normal difficulty level, of course, because we're here for the first time. Wow, we showed up in some room. All right, we need to figure out where we're going now. I think we should go to the vent. Now we will quickly climb the furniture and proceed to the next test. Here are some obstacles stand in our way. We need to drop them and go further. I wonder what will happen next. In the vent, we go up somewhere and think there will be something interesting. Wow! This is the first parkour that meets us! Only the most important thing is not to fall down because these boards are very poorly attached and very badly held. Everything looks good and we're going through. So the next test is very interesting because there you need to push a button to appear some hatches. But now we quietly go on. I wonder when grandma's gonna show up. I can already hear a grandmother nearby from which we will have to escape. I think she will come now and we need to do something. Oh my God, here she is. She's the only one who's asleep and better not wake her up. <gasps> oh my God, she's awake. We have to get out of here so she doesn't catch us. How scary she is. We have to get out of here. I don't even know where to run. Oh my God, some button. Hurry up and press it to get away from Grandma. She'll open the door and we'll escape. I hope she doesn't run after us. So next we run in this place to go further. It looks like she has a stockpile of cookies that are very enticing children. Now I know why we have to get out of here. So we went up and there was a door. We had to get there. Oh my God, there's some big ventilation. 
Looks like we're about to have a pretty tough test where we have to go through lasers. Wow, how scary to fly here. You will need to follow very well and be careful not to hit these lasers. I want something interesting already because these trials are very boring. Next, we hit some dungeon that we have to pass. It is very scary here because there is a lot of lava and if you fall into it, it will be very bad. Oh my God, there's a very scary post here that can be ruined. You have to be very careful to get through it all. I am very afraid of falling because it will be very painful to fall into lava. The next test that awaits us is some threads that are laid out here. It seems that they are very contagious and it is better not to fall under the thread. Next, we have balls to dodge. Quite difficult to dodge these balloons, but very cool and fascinating. You don't know when a new ball is gonna roll and you need to rush to the next intervals. We almost reached the exit and I think it will be very fun further. We are in some dungeons. It's creepy in here and we haven't seen that ugly grandma in a while. So run on. I hope that very soon there will be something interesting and I wanna quickly get into interesting trials. Oh my God, next thing I know, we're in some kind of race with Grandma. You have to win this grandmother quickly to get away from her. I hope she doesn't catch up with us. Wow, how fun it is to ride this machine. I love it. Wow, here are such cool accelerators. I really like to ride very fast. I wish I had my own car. That ugly grandmother doesn't catch us at all. Yay, we almost got to the very end. Very interesting, what will happen next? We get into some house. Most likely this is the house of this terrible grandmother. Wow, there's another interesting parkour. Wow, we hit some big slide. How interesting it is to roll down here. I would like to roll down this slide again. It is necessary to go further to escape this grandmother. It is very scary to meet her. I wonder what is waiting for us further. Here we go up the stairs and then we get into some kind of ventilation. Rather run there to go on. There are so many ways. Wow, there's a pass on free cookies. I think it's better not to go there and it will be a trap. Wow, that's right. I thought it would be a trap. Good thing we didn't go. Wow, there's gonna be an interesting test going on. It's got very powerful fans on and we're going to have to run to get through it all. Very interesting. What will happen next? Next, we jump on some pipes. This is a very difficult test because you will need to jump on small pipes. You'll have to work really hard to get it all through. I wonder how long it will continue. I want to completely pass all this and these pipes are not interesting. It's been a long time since we've met this ugly grandmother and I want more trials with her. Next, we will need to jump to the height, only very carefully so as not to start all over again. Very fun and I like to jump. This is a very interesting event. We have almost completed all platforms and now will be very interesting because we are almost to the end. I'm really curious how we're gonna get out of here. <gasps> Yay! So we finally met this grandmother and she immediately woke up from us. Now we will have to run through this maze that leads nowhere unexplained. The main thing is that grandma could not catch us. Oh, here we have found a way out. We need to pull the lever and lower this fence. Wow, how beautiful it is here. I hope grandma will not run after us. Wow. This is very unusual. Now, we need to quickly jump over the obstacles. Again, unusual parkour. Here is a very beautiful setting overlooking some lake with reeds. This is a very cool setting. Wow, cool setting. Here you need to jump on different things in the lake, but there is an unusual nuance. There are logs swimming and you have to fall on them to go further. We're going to go ahead and I think it's gonna be really fun because there's a big cookie waiting for us. I think it will be very interesting and it's almost over. Wow, you'll have to defend yourself against the grandmothers who show up. This is a very interesting <laughs> test. The main thing is not to lose to them. Oh my God, they came from behind. You have to focus completely on the task. Look completely in all directions so that these terrible grandmothers do not catch us. We shoot them with those teeth and it looks really scary. We deal with them. because you will need to shoot them three times as long as they don't kill us. They come from all different sides and it is very cool. After
After all, you need to be always on the alert so that they do not catch us. It's fun to hit them. We're so good with you. We have already killed half of the scary grandmothers, and we have left quite a few of them. You need to try hard not to get caught on them, as long as they don't kill us, because you don't want to start all over again. We almost killed them all, and pretty soon I think we almost got through it all. I think we can definitely get away from that terrible grandmother. Just a little bit left. There are a lot more of them because it's over. This bazooka is very funny and I like to shoot. We almost all passed. Hurrah! We were able to completely pass all. Come on, here we need to ride on the machine. Here we are already going to the end with this cool car. I think that it will not be difficult and there will not be a scary grandmother. We managed to get through all this and I really enjoyed it all going on. Hurrah! We managed to pass! It was a very cool test! I really liked running from the scary grandmother and I'm glad we could escape. I hope there will be more such trials. Subscribe to our channel and like. See you soon. Bye! Hello friends! Hello dear subscribers! Today we will play a game called Roblox. I think you'll enjoy the game we're playing today. Hello everyone. I really like playing at Roblox and think I especially like this mode. This is a test escape from Bobby's baby. I think we should start walking. Choose the easy mode because this is the first time we are on this test and begin to pass. I am waiting for a lot of interesting moments that we will really like. Here we are in some nursery. We turned off the lasers and go on. We have to climb up the toys and go somewhere. We probably need to get into the vent to pass the next test. Moving on. In the ventilation, you can hear the baby crying. Let's see what's out there. Oh my God. We're right above him in the ventilation. We have to keep running so he can't see us. Oh my God, where have we come from? This child is looking right at us. It is necessary to pass all this parkour so that it does not scare us so much anymore. This parkour is very light and now I will easily pass it. Now we have to jump on the plane in time to fly it to the next test. It was very easy and we were able to jump on it at the first try. So we go ahead and then we have to push the button to open the hatches that we can jump through. I'm starting to like this whole escape a little bit because it's so special and beautiful. Hurry up! Here we need to jump over the usual turrets that are located close to each other and it is quite a simple task. Then we have more and more tests and I like this wallpaper of space. Wow, there's some cool wood in here. I used to love playing them and I wouldn't mind playing them now, but we're running out on Bobby. There's some kind of luminous bear, but I think we don't need to collect it. Let's go. There, we need to jump on the sticks with marshmallows. It is so delicious and unusual. I would eat them. Agree, it is very funny and unusual. We are not jumping on simple plates, but on real decorative sticks with marshmallows. Very cool. Oh, the next challenge is a terrible old bridge. Wow, now we will fly a real gun that will shoot us very far. Ah! It was a little scary, but we keep going through the trials. Now we're going up. It is very interesting what lies ahead because it is not clear when you go up what is on top. It's very mysterious and I like it because you don't know what's gonna happen next. Then we rather run through the ventilation system. I look forward to seeing this child again because I wanna see him again. Oh my God, we're in the room where Bobby sleeps. I hope we don't wake him up. We have run very far away from him and I think he will not wake up. Oh my God, how so? He has woken up and now runs after us. Run away from him so he won't catch us. I'm very scared. We've already run a lot, but he's still running after us. He's so big, he's so much bigger than us. It means he's running a lot faster than we are. We have to keep going. Yay, I can already see some stairs and think that there will be a way out of here. I want to get away from it already. We wanted to see this baby, so we saw him. This child even climbs up the stairs. The best solution is not to turn around because he runs very fast and no stops. When will the passage to the next test be? Hurrah, there's some button that opens us away into the ventilation. Run there quickly and get away from this child. Ugh, here we are and now we can have a little break from the run. We hurry on. Oh my God, we jump right into it. I hope there will be all safe and he will not eat us all. Wow, even here there are trials. It looks like he's eating everything he's got because there's even a Lego. 
It's just as beautiful, even though we're right inside this baby. The main thing is that we are safe and not as scary as in some dungeon. There's a lot of fun trials here, and I love doing them. We can even say that we are not inside the child, but in some fairy tale where there is a beautiful lake green. We are already moving quietly to the next trials. This parkour, of course, is very light, and I want something interesting. Oh, my God! There's a big ball rolling around, and we need to dodge it. There's just some small spaces where we can hide so this balloon doesn't hit us. The main thing is to get to the moment when the ball just passed and hide in this very interval. Here we run rather in the next interval, because the ball just rode. I hope that it will not start to roll ahead of time, and we will have time to hide. Ugh, it was very close, and we ran in time. Here we are at the very end of this trial, and begin the next. There is a very beautiful path of Legos, and now it looks like we need to climb on this tall tower. I hope we will not fall from it. It's so long and tall, I'm tired of climbing it. When it's already the end of this tower, I want to see some interesting trials. That's why we're here. <sighs> Whoa, the test is on! There are moving containers with some things, and our task will be to jump on them and not slide to the bottom. I hope that we will succeed. So, moving on and on, wow. Here's where we need to get up the air from the vent. I wonder why it's green. Okay, we're up, and then we have to push the button to lower the bridges. We need to set this bridge so that we can grasp the obstacles. I like such interactive tasks, and I am happy to do them. We will use one bridge to spend less time. We have only one last gap left where we need a bridge, and it is very good. At last, we have been able to pass this test and can go on. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff ahead of us. We run further, and it seems that now we have to jump into some pit. I wonder where it will lead us. Oh my god. We're already outside, and it looks like we're gonna have to run fast. It's kind of hard to drive at this speed, and you have to get used to it, because for now, we're gonna be falling into lava. Now everything seems to be going well, and we run on. It is so fun and scary! After all, it is impossible to coordinate normally at such a speed, and you need to think less and do more! So, we just run where we're told and try not to fall! It's a very fun interactivity here, and I like to jump on these things at speed. Oh my god, you can see in the distance the head of this kid named Bobby. I think it'll be over soon. I see some kind of weapon in the middle, and it looks like we're about to start shooting kids who are gonna show up. The main thing will cope with this task, or these children will take us to themselves. Well, it's a good thing there aren't many yet. But I wouldn't want too many. It's very scary when they get close to you, and you need to defend yourself so they don't catch us. I've never shot with such a weapon, but we seem to be doing very well. We beat the kids one by one, and it's very cool. There's one third of all these kids left, and we're almost there. Already less than half of these kids are left, and we've almost won them all. It's a good thing there's not one big boss, because I think he'd totally beat us, and these little ones, we're doing just fine. Just a little bit left. Let's beat them already, girlfriends. I really like to shoot this gun, but I'm tired of holding it. We have to beat them all and get away from Bobby. Hurrah! We were able to defeat them all. Ran more to the finish line, where there will already be a point that shows that we were able to escape. It was very fun, and I like to pass all the tests. I hope there will be more of these. Everyone, we're already at the finish line in a cool car, and we still made it. There were chases and passing the parkour, and I fully enjoyed everything, especially the last test we passed. Subscribers, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we are going to play a game called Roblox, and I think you all will like what we're going to do today. Hello, everyone. Today we will be at Roblox escaping from the terrible grandfather who will follow us during the trials. It will be very fun. And let's get started. Let's get started. Now we will choose the normal level of difficulty and proceed to the initial tests. This is where Grandpa sleeps, and we need to get away from him. I think this is the aisle we need to get into. So let's get into it and pass this test. Oh, my God. Grandpa's up and running after us. Let's get away from him. Oh my god, I need to run away from him. 
bypassing water with false teeth, and he just runs through this whole liquid. Accordingly, he is much faster than me. We need to accelerate and narrow it down. Now we climb up the stairs to the next test. I hope that there will not be that dreadful grandfather. Oh my god! Where we are, most likely this is the kitchen. It will be necessary to pass all these tests. Now we are jumping on a very hot stove, and the most important thing is not to get under the jets of fire that heat this furnace. Next, we need to dodge the swinging broccoli, which I don't like at all. Now, we've almost done all of this, and I can see this grandfather's face sticking out of the wall. The important thing is that he doesn't catch us there. We need to go through the pipes now. It is very scary to fall from this pipe, because the bottom is lava and not really want to just cook in it. So you have to be very careful to get through this. And here comes the part that's even more complicated than the last! Here, the pipe is already moving, and you need to catch the moment when it is best to run over it and proceed to the next test. So, moving on! Now there will be a rather heavy test, because it depends on the speed of passage. We didn't make it the first time we jumped, but now we're used to it and we're going to get through it. Now we should definitely succeed, because now it is clear that it will be necessary to jump at the very last moment to be sure to jump these obstacles. That's what we're gonna do. Here falls a different food, which is very much interfering with the passage and have to run it around. We are almost done passing this test, and now we will move on to the next. Now we're probably in this grandpa's room because his dentures are there and he's lying there. It's very scary. And the most important thing is not to fall down or he will catch us. These chandeliers are very scary to jump because they are not fixed securely and think that they can fall down. You, here are the dirty socks of this grandfather. We should run them all and forget about them. Now all we have to do is run over the thread that grandpa is hanging his wet things on. It was really fun going through the living room, but I want to get away from that grandpa. We're almost there, and I'm very curious about what's going to happen in the next challenge. I hope there's no scary grandpa, because he can really catch up with us. So, here we are at the next challenge, and it looks like it's a closet. This is where we have to pull the lever to open the hatches, and we can just jump over them. Next, when we go up now, we will go on a zip line. It is a very cool thing on which very scary and fun at the same time. The main thing is not to lose it. Next, we need to jump through the lasers that are killing us instantly and go to the next test where we need to use the boards to build the bridge. Run quickly, get these boards, and put them where we need to make a passage. I think it will be very exciting and interesting to build a bridge. Hurry up and run! Ah, we will use the same board for all obstacles to save time and quickly pass this test. I think it's a pretty brilliant idea that not everyone will come up with. There's not much left. Let's push it because we haven't seen the old grandfather chasing us in a while. I'd like to see the test with him now. Hurrah! Now we are going up the high tower to the top. Finally! I'm sure the end will be soon. She's so tall, I hope we don't fall off her. Going further, I think we're almost there. Oh! There's the exit! Go faster! To be sure to pass all! We get into some kind of ventilation, by which we run for the next test. I wonder what is waiting for us there. Hurrah! How cool it is to ride here! I love it! I'm also very interested in what will happen next, because it is not clear behind this wall what will be there. Here we are, moving on! So now it looks like we're going to run really fast with these cookies. I hope everything works out, and we'll run it through. There is such a scary head of this grandfather. It is very scary. We have almost reached and now we are jumping on small platforms. The main thing is not to fly from them because we have to start all over again. Next, we'll just have to leap over the big buildings and we'll move on to the next trials. The next thing we need to do is jump over the bridges that break under your weight. It will be quite difficult, so there should be a very good reaction. And then we have the final part of the escape. Yay! Finally, we go to the final test in this escape, and it seems that now we will fight against the grandfather himself. I hope we're strong enough to handle him so he doesn't lock us up in his house. Now we will take the weapon that we will use to kill Grandpa and begin this task. Oh my god, it looks like a big robot spider. Most likely you need to shoot this red dot. It's going to be hard to deal with him because he's so big and he's got spider robot armor. 
but our weapons do a lot of damage to it. So I think now we can definitely win, as long as we run away from it. We have already demolished it exactly one-third of health, and we are quite quick to cope. We need to continue at the same pace, and we will definitely beat it. Don't run to his feet or he'll kill you. He has very little health left, and there are still a few shots left. Let's try and finally kill him and move on. Hurrah! We were able to defeat him. What's next for us? I think there's a test ahead of us, because we went through all the trials too fast. Hurry up and see what awaits us. I am very interested. I hope he will not be there. Here we are running on the finish line. Only we see Grandfather sleeping there. It seems that this is not the end and we need to run past him not to wake him. I hope there will be no chase. Oh my God, he's awake. Let's run away from him or else he'll catch us and we'll have to start again. I didn't think he'd show up here again because we beat him at the robot fight. Let's run along the slide to get away from him. Hope he gets off our back soon. Oh my God. So we ran to some place and now it looks like we're gonna have to swim in the water to get there. We sailed out of here to escape this dreadful grandfather. It was very scary to be here and think that I will not return here again. But the trials were very fun, and I liked everything. Whoa! There's some weird purple water here, and I don't like it much. But the most important thing is that it does not harm us. And now we will safely swim to the very end of our passage. We are almost there, and I like it. Finally, we managed to get through it all. I am so glad. Let's run up this mountain, and we'll finish this passage. There is a very small part of our passage, and it is, of course, parkour in the hill. It is quite complicated, but we are coping with it because we have passed so many tests. It remains only for us to complete this series. We're almost there, and yay, we got away from that grandpa. It was very scary and fun, but I'm so glad we were able to get away from it and have passed many interesting trials. So we passed it all, finally. And we took even a bronze place along the way. This is very cool, so we will end this series. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Write your opinion in comments. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. This is where we have to get out of the pizzeria, and I think it's going to be really cool. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad we're back at Roblox. I really like to run away from somewhere in this game, and I think we should definitely be able to escape today. So here we are in this pizzeria, and now we have to think about what to do. There are strange inscriptions written in blood, and they are very frightening. There's also the laughter of the chef, who's very scary. So we hit some kind of elevator. So now we're going down to this pizza place. I wonder what is waiting for us there and whether it will be difficult. I hope we can definitely get out of here. So, here we came down, and here we are immediately met by some sort of meat grinder. It looks very scary, and I want to quickly pass it. Run quickly! Here we are told that the best solution is to go back. But we want to get out of here, so hurry up and move on so we can do it soon. There are a lot of traps here. Just don't hit them. So let's move on, and we just have to pass. Oh my god, the lights have gone out, and that chef is out somewhere. It got really scary, and I hope we can get to the exit through these pizzas. We almost made it to the exit, and we need to jump into some open hatch. Ugh, hope he doesn't jump behind us. We're going through further trials to get out of here. Here began the part with some chemicals that are likely very toxic, so it is better not to fall there. We have to get through this before we catch all this. Wow, these pipes are thin. I wonder what's going on. They will be very difficult to pass on because very little space to just run them. But we will definitely cope. So now we're going up and hopefully we'll be out of here with the chemicals. Hurrah! We're out of our seat. There's a broken toilet with a cook. Here is the next challenge that is before us. Here we need to jump the web and not hit it so as not to start the test of the late. I think it'll be simple enough. It turned out to be harder than we thought because they are very thin and there are a lot of them. It is impossible to just take and jump them quickly. You have to be very careful. So we passed this test and go on. We fell right through the web and got into some dungeon. I hope it won't be too difficult and there won't be that scary chef. Oh my God, it looks like you can't step on these platforms. Now we must try a new one to pass this test. 
Only now we have to bypass all these platforms. Let's hurry up and see what happens next. I can already see we're going to have to climb some tall tower, but it's a pretty simple test and we'll get through it. There will be a very long rise and hope that we will cope with it and not fall. After all, I do not want to start the climb from the beginning because it is very long to climb. I am sure that there is very little left because I am already very tired of such a similar task and I want to go on. Oh my God, here's a passage. Hurry up and run. Okay, here's the next challenge. There's some weird room that's filled with fairy. You have to jump down the pipes and go upstairs. I wonder what will happen. So we go up and wonder what's next for us. Oh my God, there's a room upstairs and we have to go back to the dark room with the tables. There's gotta be a chef running around. Oh my God, it was so sudden. I was very afraid and the best solution is to follow him. So pay attention and see where it comes from. He appears somewhere on the left side. So the best solution is to run on the right side and find a vent that we can escape him again. I am so scared. So we found this vent and let's jump in it quick so that scary chef doesn't catch us. Wow, there is also some interesting test waiting for us. We must quickly pass it. This is very difficult because we are jumping on very thin beams. One extra movement and we will fall down. It will be very careful. The laser test is next. We almost passed it and we have very little time to get out of here. That's just the passage somewhere. I wonder where it leads. Oh my God, what a skeleton shower. Here, we will need to find a crowbar that we can open the door. We need to hurry because there are very scary and some couples are coming. Here's the crowbar we need. Let's go break down the door. Wow, it's so cool how we're breaking down this door and we're about to go further. I love it. So there's some kind of elevator and we need to get upstairs. I wonder what's in it for us. This elevator rises so high and very slowly, very tempting what will be at the height. Even a little scary to see something there. I hope everything will be very well. We are almost up. By the way, it is good that the lift takes so long because it gives time to relax from these tests and relax. It's too hard to go through in a row. So here's the challenge. There are some very scary spikes that can crush us with ease. It's going to be very hard because they're going down very quickly. The main thing is to catch the moment. We have almost passed this test and it was much easier than we thought. Now we are moving on to the next test. We get into the kitchen now and it looks like everything is very bad. Here you need to jump through the pipes and it's quite an easy task, but the main thing is not to fall down. Oh my God, that's what happened. We're the only ones that have fallen to some level and wonder if we can get out of here. Falling to the bottom was the best decision because there was no choice at all. Now we have to go through it all again. Just get to the end. We are almost there, but the task ahead is more difficult. We will need to jump on a moving conveyor. It's going to be difficult because it slows down very much, but we'll try to do it. People's limbs are getting in the way of this, but we have to get through it because we have to get out. We're taking a lot of risks, but we're doing fine. So let's move on. I wonder what is waiting for us there. There is some big descent and it is very much to expect. Oh my God, we need to jump into some cage. It's very interesting. It is very scary to go down in this rusty cage. The most important thing is that it does not fall into lava and do not fall there. Here open the cage, but we do not jump to the next test and burn in lava. Hopefully we will appear there. Yeah, we showed up here and now we're climbing on some float up by the lava. It's very scary and it's hot, but we have to get through this calmly and without panic. Now we are climbing higher and I think we are already near the exit of this pizzeria. It is very close. Now we will climb all the stairs and go outside. At least I hope so. So here's another test, which is that you have to jump over very thin brick blocks. I hope we can get through this the first time. It looks like we're on our way to the exit of this pizzeria now. I'm so glad, but I think it's not over. Oh my God, it is. We're out of here, but now we have to run home. I think that now we will be haunted by this scary chef. You need to be very careful to see him. He could be anywhere and his laughter scares and knocks him off. Oh my God, there's that scary chef. He's running right behind us. I'm very scared and I want to run away from him. Oh no, he caught us, so we have to run again. Now we know where the scary chef is and we just have to get away from him. 
It is very fast, but we are much faster than him, so the main thing is to run in the right direction. This time, he could not even catch up with us, and we run very well. Where is this exit to freedom? I want to run away from here. Oh my god, there's the fence. We finally got out of that pizza place. I'm so glad we were able to get out of this pizza place. Everyone did a really good job. Now we can finish tonight's episode. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye. Really like the mode we will play today. Hello, everyone. Today we will be running away in a game called Carnival of Terror, and I think it will be very scary and interesting. Let's go see what's coming. So, at the entrance, we are met by some boy, Jim. It looks like he will help us find the passageways, as well as we will help him. The first thing you see in your eyes is the track. Oh my god, we ran literally a little, and here is the first checkpoint. Here we will have to jump on different things that are in lava. Don't fall into it. So, run on, and here we will need to fall down to get to the next level. Oh my god, how much will it be necessary to pass here? Let's get on with it. I am very afraid of falling down, so the best solution is just not to look down. These beams are very dangerous and it feels like they're going to fall off. You have to be very careful. So the next level is waiting for us. Here we will need to carefully pass through the pipes from which the fire comes. The main thing is not to get into it. So we were able to get through this and now we are going to the next stage. Next, we will have to just jump through ordinary pipes. It's a very simple task for now. It is very scary to fall down because there is some strange steam. It seems that there is very hot and if you fall there, you will boil very quickly. The main thing is not to think about the bad. So we have been here for a very long time, but our to climb up that rusty pipe, and we're probably gonna be able to get somewhere by now. I'm very curious about the end of this escape. I think it's gonna be a very tall pipe because we've been down here a long time. But the main thing is that we do not lose spirit and wanna completely pass all these tests. So we were able to climb this pipe and now run on. Here we have a small test in which we will have to run over a very thin pipe. The main thing is that it does not fail. Now it is very scary to be so high above the abyss, because besides that, it will be very painful to fall, so it is still very hot. You have to follow the rule not to look down. Hurrah! There's some staircase, and it looks like we're finally going to get somewhere. I hope we'll be out soon. Oh my god, there's another strange room. There are very scary saws that are very loud. I hope we will not run into them and quietly pass. In principle, they don't work very much, so it was very easy to pass them. I am sure that this staircase is definitely the last and leads to the street. I just see the black sky, which is not here. I want to go outside already. Let's get up fast. Oh my god, it looks like there's going to be some kind of battle with the boss because Jim is warning us about the clown. I hope we can get through it and it won't catch us. Oh my god, what a mess. The most important thing was to jump into the cubicle from this ride to get to the very top where the trials continue. The clown can't get in here, haha. -ha. You can rest a little in this cubicle because we are waiting for it to come to the top and we will move on to the next trial. We've never failed a test before. So be ready now. Very soon we will be landing from here because we are approaching the beginning of the next tests. We're jumping out right now. There continue to be light trials, only they are very high and one excess movement and we will fall to the bottom. I do not want to fall. We have only a little to think about. Now, this is going to be really interesting because I'm seeing Jim again and I'm seeing this really scary ride that we're probably going to have to go down on. I hope everything goes well. <sighs> I hope it won't be too scary. I'm very scared. Ah! Where we are going all the way down a very extreme ride and I wouldn't want to ride it all the time. So here we come down. I hope there will be something interesting here because we are very deep and we can hear the laugh of a clown. I hope he can't catch us here. Everything here is so old and I'm scared here a little bit is located. Strains all this environment, but it is very interesting. What kind of tests are waiting for us? Oh my God, these pitchforks are very sharp and I was able to get under them. 
It's all right, Pinkie Pie. The main thing is that we stayed here and now we keep going. This is a much worse test and we're almost through it. The main thing to react quickly. So, the next test that awaits us are the big balls that can drop us down. I think it will be quite difficult. Oh my God, we went so fast. Hurrah! Hurry up. There's a boy, Jim, who we already know, and some big statue. It looks like she'll give us something. We're going through speed tests now. Oh my God, it looks like all these trials will be a little later. Now you will have to jump on this very small bridge and the main thing is not to fall down. It is very easy. So, moving on to the next test. Oh my God, it looks like it's going to be hard again because here we have these flame pipes waiting for us again, only they are now spinning. You'll have to be very careful. If you go slow and slow, you can do it the first time, which we do. It's just a little bit more and we'll move on to the next challenge. I wonder what's next for us. It looks like we're going to be jumping on small pipes. It is very dangerous because they are very thin and under the feet of the abyss. You need to be careful. Now that's what we're going to test for speed. The main thing will not fall from here because it is very dangerous. I like to run fast because it is very fun, especially to overcome such obstacles. This is a very scary location and I want to get out of here, but we're going to have to go through a lot to get out. On the one hand, there is an atmosphere that is very scary. So we've passed this test and moved on to the next one. Looks like we're not gonna run fast now, but we're gonna jump really high and I like it. Let's try it all. I think we will succeed because it is very easy. Here you will need to jump just on these blocks. Oops, we're a little bit late. Looks like we're on the edge. It's okay, let's try it again. Now it will definitely succeed because in fact it is very simple test which requires only to understand how to pass it. I already feel there's not much left and I'm already hoping we'll get out of here soon. I really want to go through all this because I am very tired and I want to break from these horror stories. Here, let's push it. It's just a little bit longer and we can get through all this horror. If we're already climbing some tall tower, then we're very close to our most cherished goal, which is to escape. So run along. And I think on this challenge, we're gonna have to jump right into the volcano. It will be very scary, but we have to try to do it because we need it to pass. We have hit some other location. We need to run right into the mouth of this scary clown. And I am very afraid of what will happen to us. Oh my God, we showed up in some weird room. It will be quite elephant to pass all these tests because they are quite heavy. Here, you will need to jump on these lasers but because the camera is moving away, this task becomes more difficult. We will try various ways to pass this test because we definitely have to pass it, no matter how. In principle, it is very easy, but you need to get used to the fact that the camera is moving away. Now we are very well dispersed and I think that now we will definitely be able to pass it all. The main thing is not to knock off the rhythm and jump over them. It's pretty simple to find out than we thought. We are among some traps must get out of here soon. I wonder how soon it will be over because these traps are very scary and I am completely scared of everything here. So where are we going now? Oh my God, what a wonderful room. It looks so beautiful and here it seems that the blocks are removed when you step on them. So you need to go through it all very quickly. It was a pretty simple test. So now we're almost at the secret door and we're wondering where we're going to get after all this. It's a very strange house for a clown. So, the next test we're facing is a moving platform and very dangerous lasers. We have to get between them so they don't hit us. It's pretty simple, and I think we're almost there. We need to speed up our trials a little bit and think less, because we're all really scared, and we need to get out of here. So it's very interesting where we can go now. I'm very interested. Oh, again, Jim. Oh my god. Now we will go riding on the rides on the tracks, and thus we will escape. You need to be well tuned. It's accelerating so slowly, I'm very afraid. I hope we're going to be okay and we'll make a very successful escape. The most important thing is that this doesn't stop, because then the clown can catch us. I'm scared too, but I'm really glad we're almost done with this. Consider that now we will roll on these slides and fly to freedom. We can escape. We're already turning and it's just a little bit before
before we get out of here. I really like the trials in this game because they are very interesting and exciting. Here we are going to fly now. How scary. Oh my God, where are we? How could we all have gone? Hurrah, hurrah. We were able to escape that scary amusement park and that scary clown. So let's finish this episode. We really enjoyed running away from there. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Also, write creative comments. See you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today, we will play a game called Roblox. In this game, we found a mode called Piggy, and I think it is a very interesting mode that we will all like. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Yes, we found a very interesting and at the same time scary game. Here, we will have to escape Piggy Pig, which looks very scary. Hello, my friend. I'm very interested in how we're going to hide from it and what we're going to have to do. So let's get this game started quickly so we don't drag it out. I really want to play this game, so just push the button. I saw this game a long time ago, but I didn't get to play it because I was scared to play alone, and I waited for you all to want to play it. We will not be scared together, so we will do everything to win this game. We have come to some house, and there is something to do. This is the last place this piggy was seen, and we need to go to the police to see if this piggy is here, and we need to investigate the whole case. I'm really scared of what's going on here, and we seem to have been knocked out by that pig. After that, we showed up in some room, and now we're in her house, and the best thing to do is stay out of her face. Oh my god! And it looks like a way out of this house, and you have to open this door in order to beat this piggy! To do this, we need to find the key to the gray lock, power some energy, and figure out the password to this door. Hmm, I wonder how we'll all do it. I'm very interested. Here you can find some notes, as well as go to different aisles. It's probably done to keep Piggy from catching you. We're still walking around the house, and we can't find anything. There are also other players running around with us, and it is very cool because they can help us with finding some keys and can also distract this piggy so that it does not run after us. There's an exit to some backyard, and there's a small garage that requires a different color key. Wonder what he's opening up. Piggy was very close, so we have to get past her somehow. Oh my God! Someone came up with the idea to climb through the window. So let's go after them, because it's just a genius idea. I didn't think you could climb through the windows here. Let's go on looking for the keys, in case we find something. Oh my god, I found some green key and hammer. I wonder what better to take. I think it's best to take the green key and find out what it's for. So let's keep looking, because we have to find the keys and the stuff and the green door to find out what's in there. I'm also curious about what's on the third floor, so we'll probably all go there now, see if there's a green door. But first, we have to get away from Piggy, because it's coming right behind us. Ah! So we were able to get away from this Piggy, and now we can safely climb to the top floor! I wonder what will be waiting for us there, because it is so high, and you can see that the third floor is not in the best form! There are a lot of different garbage, and we need to look both ways to find something interesting. For example, I found something for the drawing. It also needs a wrench to fix the wiring. Yeah, the third floor is fun. There are lasers and plenty of space, but now we need a red key. There is a quick descent down, so let's take advantage of it. Oh my god! Looks like we found the same red key, so now we're gonna rush back to the third floor to see what's behind that door. This will be the first door we open. So we're almost on the third floor and we're gonna open that door right now. You have to take the red key and press the lock and then this door will open. Oh my God, there's the key that we needed. Now we need to get down there now to open this garage. I am very interested in playing this game, so I wanna concentrate completely on the passage. Let's see quickly what is behind this door. Oh, there are so many interesting things that I do not know what better to take. There are ammunition for some weapons as well as a hammer. But we do not need all this, so we have in vain to open this door most likely. But there's a mechanism here that's probably missing a gear, so we need to find it. So, we found some sort of pass 
passage, and it turned out to be a passage to the basement. There is a special safe in which there is a code for the main door, as well as a gold key. I wonder where we'll need the gold key, but we won't take anything yet, because Piggy is coming for us. We will now hide in the vents and go further. Here you can just open something, but there was a gun. So, now we run to find something else interesting. We have in the end a lot, but I would like to find out why we need a gold key. After all, this is not the same key that is the key to the exit. There, you need a gray key, not gold. Everything is very strange and confusing. It seems that players take all the items and do nothing with them and spoil the game, but it is not for sure. Looks like someone killed Piggy and now it's been dormant for 20 seconds. It's time to go up to the third floor, which we haven't been to yet because there was a Piggy. Let's check out that red room, see if there's anything. Oh my God, we found the red cog and now we can run to the garage and see what that mechanism does in the garage. It seems to me that this mechanism will open up some kind of mechanism that will make it easier for us. I can't wait to check it out because I want to quickly pass this game and fully know what and where is in the house. Oh my God. This mechanism just opens the lid in the ground, which leads to the basement in which we were already. Wasted time, because we have only 10 minutes. So, well, not for nothing, we were in the basement again. There we found a wrench, which is necessary to fix the wiring on the third floor. I really hope no one's done it before me. So we're going up to the third floor right now and fixing this electricity. After all, I am very interested in where do the laser passages open. Here we just ran to the third floor because it's not that close. Oh my God, someone already fixed all this wiring and we ran here in vain with this wrench. Well, nothing, then let's see what was behind the lasers. Wow, there was some passage. I wonder where it leads. Oh my God, it just leads to the master room? It's a fun aisle, but it's not the end of the game. There is very little time left to think about what we have left to do. You need to take all that we can find because it can be useful in the future. For example, here is a green key that lies here. I never knew why we needed it. Oh my God, someone has already opened the door with the key and activated the wiring, but no one can enter the code. We need to get that code we saw in the basement. I hope he's lying there because that's the last thing we have left to get out of here. If someone has taken it, it is his responsibility to kill us or we can escape. Oh my God, there's no door code where we saw him. So we're just waiting for the players and looking for that leaf in parallel. Oh my God, Piggy is running right behind me, but the door is still closed. We must hurry to run somewhere and need to get away from her. I am very scared, help someone. You need to run to the second floor and jump to the first to surely escape from this terrible piggy. We don't want to die from it and start over. I wonder if there's still a door there because I want to get out of here already. It seems that many have already escaped and piggy is running mostly after me. Oh my God. Finally, the door is open and we can escape. Oh, she almost caught me, but I managed to escape from it. It was very interesting and I'm glad we played this game. Like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Roblox, in which we will have to play a mode that represents survival in different weather conditions that exist all over the world. It's going to be quite a challenge, so you have to work hard to win this mode. That's why we came here, because we are all powerful ponies. We are now entering the first level of this game. They're offering us a big office, and we don't know what kind of weather event it's going to be, so we need to figure out where to run. I think we're going to run upstairs, see if there's anything off the ground. But if there are any tornadoes or earthquakes, we will immediately fall with the house and crash. Now we will look. There's so many people running upstairs. It looks like they know something, or they just want to get higher. The most important thing is that we can all be saved because it will be very sad if we lose at first level. But we're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure we win here because we can do better. And on the roof of this office, we're gonna win. Oh my God, we are very lucky with this level because we have a flood from which you need to hide on high buildings and not only. Now we definitely have to win as long as nobody pushes us out of here or else we lose this easy level. 
Let's see how the water rises in this world, because we've never seen it. It's a very beautiful game. Wow, it's getting so smoothly up. And it's probably best not to stand on the edge of this building, because it's so scary. And it could be that somebody bumps us and we crash. The most important thing is to watch the water so you know when the building will be flooded and wait for it to start falling apart. Hopefully, with the whole building falling apart, we won't go into the water and die. Oh my god! That can't be! How could we slide down from this building? I'm so sorry we couldn't make it past this level because it was one of the easiest. We were at the top of the building and we had to wait until the end to win, but we didn't make it. Well, that's alright. Now we wait for the next level and we definitely have to win it. Won by some two people who were very lucky. If we were inside the building or on top of the building, but in the center, we would win too. But then we slipped off this building because we jumped and fell into the water. It's a shame, but we're not going to be sad because it's just a game. And now we're going to get to the next level where we're going to make it work. Okay, let's wait for the next level because I'm already wondering what the next level has prepared for us. This is a very interesting game, judging by the first level. You have to be smart enough to figure out where to hide and to figure out where to hide from a certain weather event. The next card we're going to play is the school. And I think there's plenty of places to hide. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls. So no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. It's such a big place. I think we'll find a place to hide. There are also lockers that can be climbed, as well as there are classrooms where you can play teacher or just hide, because this is a very small room that is protected completely by walls. So no weather phenomenon can break through this protection. Now we have to wait for the weather event to be announced. Oh my God! It was very unexpected when a tornado appeared right in the place we were. We lost our hair, and we were very lucky that we were able to survive, because we could easily die. We have very few lives left, and we need to stay away from the flying blocks and the tornado itself, so that we don't get sucked into it and hit us with any blocks. I'm glad we're lucky, and the most important thing is that the tornado doesn't come our way now, because we have to watch out for him. We'll be standing on the edge because most of the tornadoes are near the building and it shouldn't touch the edges. It's a really cool tornado system and I love it. Only we are now completely bald and it is very scary. I cannot look at my character. So we have finally won this challenge. I am so glad that we were able to win, though not in the first, but most importantly in the second test. It was a very difficult test, and we tried not to get hit by this tornado. We were very lucky because if we had stayed even longer in this tornado, or we had not stood quickly near a tornado, we would have died for sure. So, now on the next level, we are waiting for the map house. In it, I think it will be a little difficult to hide, but a lot of space. So if there's any rain or storm, we can survive in this house. But if there is a flood or an earthquake, it will be in question because it will be necessary to quickly move to a place where you can climb on the roof or vice versa, descend from it. Let's try to win here. Only here strange things happen, start something loud, and also our screen starts to be white. It seems that there is a snowstorm and we need to hide just in the house. How lucky we are with you. And now we will win again. Hurrah! Yay! Okay. Let's not make any guesses for the future. It will be better what exactly will be. So we won in the last mode, where there was a blizzard, just a camera blew out of the snow, and we could not film it for you. It was too cold. Let us try now further, and very interesting, what will be offered to us at the next level. I really like to survive in such conditions, because it is very unusual and very scary for some. The main thing is not to die before the time, and quickly respond to the change of situation. Here we are quietly surviving on some construction site. We already have hair, but we still have very little health. Here we will have a volcanic eruption, which we did not expect. I will hide where there is no lava, and we can survive here. 
If only a piece of stone flies right into our building, behind which we hide, we can die, because all the details will blow us into the ocean. Here I am, already very bored to stand, and I would go in the midst of fun where most of the rocks fly, but we have very little health, so we'd better wait here and regrow so that we can have full health and do whatever we want at these levels. The most important thing is that we have a safe place. So we have won this next level, and it is very cool, because after one loss, we have the third in a row. So now we are waiting for the next level, and very interesting, what kind of map will be on it? I really liked only the card that is called School. There are many different rooms and a lot of space to hide all players. And of course we. It was on that map that we were able to win in spite of everything. I also wonder what we will hide from at the next level. Hooray! The next card on which we will play is just the school that is my favorite. I wonder what natural phenomena will appear at this level, because I do not even understand where to hide to survive here. We still have very little health, and it is a pity that it is not restored after each passing level. All right, we can survive this easily. Let's hide again on the second floor. Geez, well, let's not really survive at this level, because we're running out of time. It was very interesting to know what the natural phenomenon here, but we better leave it all for the next episode of this game, because it is very interesting, and I am sure that we will make exactly the second part. If you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye.